Rolling with Nat20. I'm Nat20, and we're back with more Adventure Manager. And we are going to continue on into our current quest, finding the Bone Lizard. But first we have to kill the Tattered Drake and a Bone Elephant. And in here we get some Bone Barbarians and Lone Warrior. I don't think these guys are anything to really worry about. I think all we really need to do is just get to these bosses, do so safely, or as safely as we can anyway, and destroy them. Last episode we got interrupted by a bunch of invasion-y things and testing out the mechanics of resting and all sorts of other things that weren't destroying the bone people. So we're going to be doing a lot more of that this episode. We made quick work of them, and we get a legendary chain for our hard work. Possibly better than what we got LP Grotus wearing, so let's check it. It is indeed better, but he is three levels too low to actually equip the darn thing. <laughs> oh, that's both funny and disappointing. And we will continue onward through the graveyard. And we find... A floating skull? I feel like we've dealt with a floating skull before. These guys are just punks in our way. We took care of those losers. We get a bunch more gear that we can't equip. Not that we want to equip this gear. Continue on eastbound. No, oh, some more suckers. Suckers defeated. Can't really afford to be paying off everybody in the university that's not my main group at this point in time. Soon, hopefully, but at this point in time, just gotta focus on saving my money. Anchorus briefly pauses and thinks about the Karate Kid. Well, that is an applaudable thing to do. Hopefully the original and not the crappy remake. We get an easy fight for it. A very easy fight. But an easy fight that levels up Dog Sack. Yeah. And we'll loop around up here to find some more suckers. All the suckers. And like the rest of the suckers, they go down easy. Lemon and Grotus level up, that's quite excellent. And we even get a staff that Lemon neither wants nor can equip. Continuing onward into the Bone Graveyard. I imagine we'll find the elephant soon. I feel like there's an elephant up here, but we'll surprise some barbarians first. Boo! Barbarians. Boo! Woo woo! We get loot! Dog sack completed heavy shields. That's somebody we'll spend some money on. And we'll probably find the elephant here? Yes! Ooh, I'm good at predicting where these things are. Hey, elephant. You're a warrior. And we'll find a small lizard, which is the only enemy in here that's the only lesser enemy that we haven't seen yet. The small lizard seems to be an arbalist? Huh. Well, the small lizard seems to be not long for this world. Oh, but Dog Sack misses, making him long enough to become a problem. Because I now have to snipe him out instead of healing up Dog Sack. The unfortunate reality. But we'll take out this barbarian extra quick. Dog Sack can even heal himself up. Why not? Just a little. Maybe he shouldn't have healed himself up. Maybe he should have done a Shatter Guard. But it doesn't seem to have affected anything, and he can do his Shatter Guard now. Neither of my attacks that I wanted to not be blocked got blocked. And thus, this Bone Elephant is going down pretty quick. I don't even feel the need to block with Dog Sack. It just seems like a waste. Dog Sack will heal himself up. That doesn't seem like a waste. Eh. LP Grotus will even make sure that his heals stay up high. Since we're probably going to be taking this Bone Elephant out before he gets another turn. Excellent. That's one dead Bone Elephant. And some shiny loots. Scythe. Eh. 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 What do we got here? A legendary sheriff shield? Eh. This wand would be pretty alright with its intelligence and focus if I was a wand mage. But I am not. 
Lennon is a staff mage. The staff mages are much more magical than wand mages, somehow. Wand mages are much more defensive, I suppose, is the trade-off. Because then you can carry a little shield in your other hand. Here are some suckers. And these suckers actually have a small lizard with them. Warriors in the front, pretty well lined up, actually. Not that we're not going to defeat them pretty quick. Anything cool from these guys? I became a friend of the dwarves. That's pretty cool. Friend of Dorfia, Dogsack. Your reputation bonuses have finally come into fruition. Oh, Deadly Bone Barbarian pack, but it still seems kind of sad. He's regenerative and armored, so I'll take out his buddy first. I guess I might as well show a small fight. There haven't been too many of those. Uh, I feel like I'm probably going to heal up Anchorus here because this fight's going to be quick. Another Intimidate definitely throws all of the attacks Dog Sacks away. I don't even know if we need a Leopard Strike. I'm just going to punch him. Hey, should have Leopard Striked. That'll be okay, though. Dog Sack needed something to do on his turn anyway. And a Leopard Strike for the finish? No, too powerful. Frost Strike for the finish? Not powerful enough. Junk that will be worth money. Or materials. Ooh, campfire. Means we are probably pretty close to the bone lizard, so I'm actually going to backtrack a little bit and go down the other path and try to find this tattered drake. Because I like killing the secondary bosses before the main boss. They are secondary for a reason. Come here. What do we got? A small lizard and a floating skull? Pathetic. Fizzle? Also pathetic. Anchor is leveled up, and some of my teams are fully rested, so I'm going to have to send some adventures out. Alright, put some people in adventures, even put a couple of my people in the university since I had some extra money from the auto adventures. Ooh, a tough shielded and regenerative monster pack? Could this be a battle worth talking about? I don't think so. It could be, but I don't think so. Played with them for a little bit to get my health back up, because I don't want to portal out or rest. But it was pretty easy. Onward! Lemon briefly pauses and thinks about bad TV. Well, let's sing about it! Sing about it for a bunch of gold. Bunch of gold. Let's actually send somebody to school with that gold. We got to send two lucky adventurers to school with that gold. Well, that gold combined with some of the gold we got from killing things in these rooms. Where is this tattered drake? I will find him. A chest. Yes. Chests. Uh... Okay, did I miss something? Oh, I think I know what I missed. You see here. This here is the entrance room. So I'd never even explored over here. I um, explored that one room, but I never went any further. And there's some punks in here. We'll take them out pretty quick, though. Now it's over. Double quick. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? It is a glowy nightstick. But it's not that great. Wisdom and focus. Blah. What's up here? This area seems small. It's probably going to be like a chest or a single battle. A chest. Ooh. Required level 33? Nobody can equip that yet. I think my people are all still level 32. Yeah, gonna have to level up a little bit more before I can equip some of the goodies I'm finding in here. Just a little bit. This'll help. Some punks that think they can come in here and fight me. You came very ill-prepared. Well, that guy shielding and dodging was pain, but also not too bad. Not too bad at all. Your party is juggling. Lick him! Lick him for a chest! I don't get it, but I do it. 
I'd do it anyway. I'll always lick my party for a chest. Always. Some more punks that think they can stop me in my pursuits to kill their dragon and bone lizard. Alright, the parry on those jokes... The parry on those dudes was unreal. That has a lot of wisdom on it. Unfortunately, wisdom doesn't matter. Hope you Grotus learned Scepter's level 2. Let's complete that. Correction, two-handed Scepter's level 4. He's now on level 5. Will this next battle be a drake? It will not. It'll be some more sad fools who think that they can stand in my way. They think that their higher level numbers matter. But they'll see. They'll see soon enough that what really matters is how you use the levels. Pretty easy. Is this staff any better? This staff is much better with a bunch of intelligence and focus required level 32. Is that something that Lemon is going to use? I don't think so. Lemon loses like 600 HP for a 15 spell power increase on that. It's not worth it. Not worth it to me. Lemon needs to be able to take a couple more hits. Not for 15 spell power. 15. And a bunch of level ups around. Excellent. Maybe now we can equip some of that better gear that we found. I don't even know if it's better. We'll find out. Some level ups, couple gear switches, not too many. Let's head to the west. Drakey, 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 Dra Dra you're not the kind of Drake I thought you'd be. What are you? You're some sort of healer, it seems. Alright, well let's throw a blessing on Anchorus. So Anchorus can take out a rogue in a hit. Ooh, so good. Intimidate so we don't have to worry about anchors getting hit by the opponents. All the attacks will go through Dog Sack. Ooh. And all the heals can go through Dog Sack as well. Ooh, the Lone Warrior barely survives. We'll finish him off with a Holy Strike. And it's just you and me, Drake. Seriously, I thought I was going to be fighting some sort of skeletal dragon or something. This is not what I expected. I can handle it and whatnot. It's just not, not what I thought I was going up against. Not at all. Oh, you're going to heal yourself? Screw you, buddy. I'll heal myself too. And then I'm going to go find your bone lizard and kill him. What sort of stuff do I get in here? Is this any good? Maybe. Take a look. And this? Nah. No strength or con. Oh well. The fist is not better than what Anchorus has. But I did make him switch his fist's weapons between his hands while fussing around with them. Your party is cut, what do you do? They're cut? Well, I'll ride them. For free experience. Sure, why not? Yes, that's what I do. Obviously. And then there's some bone rogues. Don't you guys know better? I already killed a bunch of your dudes. Killed your elephant. I killed your drake. I killed half your team already. I mean, what do you think is going to happen up in here? What do you even think? Let's keep going as though it never even happened. Uh, over here is going to be that camp, right? Yeah. I don't need it, though. So I'm going to bail out on the camp and assume that this bone lizard is going to be up in one of these two rooms. Probably not this one, because that'd be too easy. They're going to have some decoy. No, it's going to be the bone lizard. And the bone lizard's a lot more like a bone dragon than I expected. And Anchorage takes like a million damage. Jeez. Who do we got? Who do we got? Okay, so we're gonna want, oh, thorns, thorns, crap, you're gonna have to mend anchor, so you're gonna get messed up. Oh, and you're gonna fizzle on your intimidate, that is the worst. It's the worst thing that you possibly could have done, Dog Sack, it's the worst time for you to do that. 
At least we heal up Anchorus back to full. A greater heal heals up Ank all of Anchorus' health no matter what. It's great. His thorns aren't too, too much to worry about. I can't believe you chose then to... Dog sack. How are you going to do this, buddy? We have a plan, and the plan only works out when you don't fizzle against the bosses. You can't fizzle against the bosses, dog sack. You can't do it. There's too many other bad things going on constantly for me to compensate for that. You're so lucky Anchorus is alive, dog sack. You're so lucky. It would have been all your fault. This bone lizard is a paladin? Yeah, paladin. So definitely good to throw that block breaker on him. Bless up Anchorus, try to get some damage output to be as high as we can. And... Wait, did you just attack Anchorus? Is Doxax Intimidate already up? I buy that, but dang, it's no good. You're just gonna heal up and get some more energy for the future. Nah, you attack Dog Sack, everything's okay. It's just fine. Shatter that guard. And what do we got here? We've got Healing Anchorus. LP Grotus, it's your job to keep everybody alive. It's Dog Sack. It's gonna be over here. Fizzling and stuff. No good. No good. Everybody's taking damage from these thorns. But luckily this is the last fight we have to do here, so we don't have to worry at all about coming out of here with a decent amount of health. We can go as hard as we possibly can. Dog Sack, you're going to need to redo your Intimidate soon. Like, the second you get a chance. Alright, Dog Sack, please. Anchorus is uh, getting a little low there. He keeps missing, which is excellent. I appreciate that. I really appreciate the missing of the Bone Lizard. We can even heal up Anchorus so that it, just in case anything does go awry. It's not terrible. You're still up? Go down. Down you go, Bone Lizard. Lemon has completed staves 5 in the university, and we've gotten a bunch, a bunch of stuff. What do we get? We get this garbage leather, a rare nightstick, eh. This could be okay. It's a bunch of strength and constitution. It might be alright for Dog Sack, but I think what he's got is better, but we'll see. This has a bunch of intelligence, dexterity, and wisdom. That's a lot of wisdom. That might be better than what Grotus is rocking right now. Some dark plate, what a whatever. And a unique lizard's shield, which would be pretty alright if I was going with a wand mage, but I'm going with a staff mage. So this is going to be pretty alright for its gear score later. We're done here, right? We, we've defeated the everything. We get to escape. Turn in our quest deal with our university things and just micromanage for a little bit. So let's go. I did these old bones. I done did it. I, I, you give me a mythical item. You give it to me now. Good. You found the source of our troubles with the bone tribe? A giant bone lizard, you say? Oh dear, that's dreadful. All that organic matter just makes me cringe. Well, thank you, your grace. I'm not sure how we'll ever repay you. Well, he turned out to be quite tolerable. Let's go check in with the Dark Elves. I'm sure we'll find them insufferable. And I get a mythical mantle chain. Mantle chain. Words are hard. And it doesn't seem to be that great. Oh well, what about this guy? Legendary Leaf Blade, that sounds cool if nothing else. But with a bunch of wisdom and intelligence, it's not a very good two-handed weapon. Oh well, we can melt it down for its pieces. And next time we get to enjoy Dark Elthia, where we will do Walk Like an Egyptian. Sounds like we're going to be visiting this pyramid. And, as always, we're going to be way under leveled for it, 33 to 32. 40 through 42. So, 
it is going to be our toughest challenge yet. But that's what's exciting about Adventure Manager, pushing your adventures to the limit, because me, I don't have to be in any danger. I just get to watch them. Haha. Uh -huh. You've been rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.